Hello what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your hard drive on your Xbox One. Also guys if you need more help you can just go ahead and comment down below or you can just go ahead and join the Fix community on here. And if you can't access your Xbox One right now you can just go ahead and download the Xbox One app and join it through clubs. It's really that easy so let's start off. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press on the home button. On the home button you want to go to settings now you want to go to system click on storage and go to internal I want to view content so guys, what could happen is, it could happen that there is some corrupted data on your system itself. So it could happen that you delete, uh, need to delete some stuff out. For example, if the problem only happens on Minecraft, for an example, you want to go to Minecraft, you want to click on Start or Options. Go to Manage and Game Add-ons. And on here guys, what you want to do is you want to go to save data. And it could happen if you don't can't like if you can't access it, you want to delete it off because you have no point of it. But for example, on Minecraft, especially on Minecraft, you won't be like deleting all of your systems, I mean your maps. So what you do is you just go on Minecraft. You only delete like one server of your 10 server list or something like that. And that could even fix the problem itself. So you can just go to the games itself and delete like one saved data. For example on GTA once you grab your phone and you can make some saved data and things like that. Or once you go to the bat on GTA you can go ahead and save some or you can delete some saved files. So I just got, just do that guys and that can also fix your problem. So what if that doesn't work out? So I'm gonna show you another fix. And guys, if you don't wanna delete your safe data, what you wanna do is go back to system, go to storage, and then you just go ahead and connect yourself a external hard drive or a USB flash drive or something like that. And you want to actually transfer your data through there and this is for the people that really don't want to delete their saved data of their games but it could happen that it's corrupted so once you reconnect it back and you transfer it all back into your internal one it could happen that you still have the same problem so remember that guys so just click on transfer and then you can go ahead and transfer your date it will also have data with it so you can just go ahead and press like Minecraft for example if you want that. And now let's go to the next fix. So guys what we want to do is we want to go to our Xbox power button and we want to keep holding. Till you see no more lights coming out. And then what you want to do guys now is now fully closed off. So don't go ahead and just press like once. Just keep holding till the power goes off and you see like a black light appearing. Now what you want to do guys is you want to press on the home button or the power button again. So it will give you like a green screen. I'm going to show you right now what it will show you. So let's go here. So it will just show you this like you see the screen right now. It actually could happen that your hard drive or just the storage could be like damaged or something like that. So we can just go ahead and try to restart your console. It's more like a hard restart. So we can always do that. And like you see, it's still loading. And by the way, guys, if you please can like and subscribe though. Thank you so much. And it will really help me out just one second of your time. Now let's go to the next fix. And this is the last fix, uh, last fix that I'm going to show you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to keep holding the power button again.
and now once it's closed it's off let's go to the next step so what you want to do guys is if you have a eject button on here you want to keep holding the eject button and also the black button over here but if you are like mine and you don't have an eject button over here you don't need to hold it or it doesn't even have a eject button so we just want to keep holding the black button so let's do it now so hold the eject button and the black button at the same time and then press on the power button just once keep holding second sound but keep holding till you see something on your screen and then leave it once you see something on your screen just leave it but if you hear like the second sound coming out and you just leave it it will go like away and your console will be automatically closed so now let's go to our screen now we just activate the troubleshoot so let's activate our controller and by the way by the way guys you can only use your d-pad you can't use these ones these ones don't work and now you want to go to reset this xbox so this is actually as the last fix what you want to use guys and it will like you see it will delete all of your saved data settings and things like that so you can cho choose either one of those so you can go ahead and do this one first and if that doesn't work out you can just go ahead and do remove everything and by the way guys remember that this video is without opening your xbox one so we don't open it up but if you want to open it up and change it yourself and buy another uh, hard drive it's gonna cost you a lot more money but if you want though you can always but now let's go to here so like i said use this as a last fix if you don't have any other solution of uh, any other things that work for you just keep doing these ones and this was the video guys please like subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys goodbye